Hi everyone, we're back with another quick tip for you. And in today's video, we're gonna look at gathering clouds and we're gonna explore circular motion a little bit and try to understand some of the concepts that are involved in circular motion. Now we're gonna be working on uh, one of our fundamental orbits, a horizontal orbit with this technique. And so let's get started looking at the technique and then we'll pull out some of the concepts. As he's stepping in, I'm gonna step off the line of his attack, I'm gonna check, and my other hand is gonna draw a circle it's going to be a middle knuckle strike that rakes across the rib cage. And then from here, here's our first option. When we're on a circular orbit, we can stay on that circle. We could remain on that circle in the same direction, or in this case, we could reverse direction. I'm going to strike him with an outward hand sword. And this is our next option. Again, when we're on a circle, we can remain on it in the same direction, or we can reverse direction and regardless of the choice you choose, you have another choice. You can alter the weapon that you're using on that circle. And the circle changes a little bit, but essentially we're remaining on that fundamental orbit. And so you're going to see that in our next movement. As I come in with my first strike, I reverse direction. I catch him with my second strike. From here, I'm going to reverse direction again. As I make now a circle with my elbow, as I also step through simultaneously and buckle out this leg. I'm just dropping this hand so make sure you guys can see what's going on here. Uh, and that's the way the technique is written. That's at least the portion of the technique that we're going to look at right now. Now I want to explore the other concept I told you. We can remain on the circle in the same direction. And we can accomplish this very easily with this technique if we delete one of the movements. In this case, we're going to delete the outward hand sword. And we're going to remain on the circle in the same direction. Uh, but again, we're going to alter the weapon. And now you arrive at this technique. Okay, again, I'm just dropping my hand so that you can see uh, what's going on. Uh, now, that's a very powerful sequence of motion. Because as I step out and I strike, well, first of all, his body is drawing its own circle, which I'm going to borrow that momentum, borrow his angular momentum, and let it lend a greater impact into my initial strike. Now from here, the energy from this strike is going to carry around. So our first strike is going to feed energy into our next strike. So it makes for uh, quite a devastating sequence of motion. All right, that's going to be it for this lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you soon.